Like the key, the key to any any drum playing is the fact that you're trying to create a fulcrum where the stick can move within your hands. So most people think when you play the drums, you're playing with your wrist, and you're not. You're mostly playing with your fingers. So if you're gonna if you're gonna do a if you're gonna do a match grip, the fulcrum is between your thumb and your index finger. So you could theoretically hold the stick with two fingers, with two fingers on either hand, and you bounce the stick with the rest of your hand. Okay. Now traditional, a traditional grip, which confuses tends to confuse most people, is if you take your left hand, the fulcrum ends up being between in the crease of your thumb and the base of your forefinger. So you're creating a fulcrum there. The stick is going to rest against your ring finger and you control the stick with your index and your middle finger. Okay. When people are learning how to, how to drum, they normally do that for a feeling, but it's only your left hand that does that. Your right hand does the regular. So you would have your left hand gripping it with the stick falling between the index and middle finger and resting on the on the ring finger and then the uh, the right hand would just be your regular like that okay and so can i see your left hand again your fingers your yeah fingers. so left, the left hand is you create the fulcrum at the base of your thumb it's it, it's a really weird feeling you're kind of crimping your thumb and your base of your forefinger together and then the stick is resting on your ring finger so right now I'm making like a peace sign. <laughs> and then I'm clamping the two fingers. Then I'm clamping the two fingers down. It, it's just like chopsticks. Yes, that's why I can eat chopsticks with chopsticks so well. <laughs> and what happens, so you create, and the goal, the goal is to create controlled bounce. So I, I'm gonna kinda, so if I'm holding the stick like this, I'm controlling the bounce with my with my index and my middle finger. My wrist is almost doing is almost doing nothing. Can you do that slow? Can Not you do really. That slow? <laughs> we'll do that in a sec. We'll do that in a second. Okay. I'm just trying to show you the concept of the fulcrum and the concept of using your using your fingers to control. Same thing with the right hand, which which you're holding. So. You guys can do whatever you're most comfortable with. If you want to do the match grip because it's more comfortable, that's fine. I'm giving you the option to really challenge yourself and trying to do the traditional grip. But if you want to do the match grip, that's fine. And it's the same concept, though. You want to... I'm doing that all with my fingers. My, my wrist is not... My wrist is not moving. What? Okay. And then I'm using the three, the, the middle finger, the ring finger, and the pinky on the right hand to move the stick around. Okay, more, more the, more the index, so more, more the, uh, more the ring finger and pinky. And the middle finger is more there just to make sure you don't drop the stick. <laughs> okay, so now, what I'm going to show you are the four key things you need of skills you need to develop to become a professional rock drummer. Okay? <laughs> so the first... That's a rock drummer. What does it look like? You yeah. Need to to yeah. It doesn't matter. <laughs> All right. So the first thing, the first thing is called a single stroke roll, okay? And you're gonna, you're gonna love this. It is basically right, left, right, left. Now right now I'm using all wrist and that's okay because that's what you're gonna, that's what you're gonna be. So all you gotta do is do right, left, right, left. And then what we're gonna do is you're gonna try, you're gonna try to speed that up. So you start off right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Okay? So that's 
that's the ex that's the single stroke exercise. I think I'm bad at this. <laughs> yeah, I'm bad. I'm well, try, try <laughs> if you try I using, like try using yeah, CJ. Try <laughs> using the match grip. Try just using the match grip. It might feel a little more comfortable. No, that's that. That's 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 no grip known to man right there. The, this one right here. Yeah, just hold, hold it like a fork and knife. Hold it like a fork and knife. Oh, look at this. Yeah. Yeah. That's the easiest way to start. So. So right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. And then you just keep going back and forth. Right, left, right, left, right, left. <laughs> I want to stop and hear what I hear. Too. I can do right pretty good, but I can't. I'm not coordinating enough to do my left fast. Left, the you know, left. The left is the Anthony, Anthony, can you show us like a cool like? Like new that we can do. Yeah, right. <laughs> and make it look no, like we we'll, I'll get you. I'll get you there. I gotta get. You. Let me get through the four things, and then we can we can do some. <laughs> let's do the double stroke row. So we did right, left, right, left. Now it's right, right, left, left. Right, right, left, left. Right, right, left, left. And of course, you speed that up. So it's right, right, left. basic it's just right right left left and then as you get as you get faster that's when you need to bounce that's when you need to let the sticks bounce so when you're doing a my wrist is moving my wrist is moving once my wrist is moving once but the stick is bouncing twice so it's that's another and that's about stick control that's you basically you throw the stick at the pad you just throw it let it bounce and then pick it up Come up Come up Come up thing okay so now I'm gonna give you that now I'm gonna now I'm gonna give you the third critical thing and I'm doing this I'm doing this because I just like what they're called. It's called a paradiddle a phrase. So a paradiddle is right, left, right, right. And then left, right, left, left. So this is where you start coordinating your hands. So it's right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, right, left. you screw up because you look good doing it. So 
So, so those are those are the four key, those are the four key components to being coming a rock drummer. So I like I like to I love to go around. I like to hear what everybody's got with their head shake. What do you got? I got, I got Veronica. I got Veronica on the top left, so I go I go around the boxes I see. Okay, let's see what you got, Veronica. So um. Head shake. I need a head shake. There you go. <laughs> All right, Chris. <laughs> That's perfect. That's perfect because I think you've destroyed furniture, which is the other prerequisite of being a rock star. Is you got to be able to, you got to be able to destroy a hotel room. <laughs> All right, John, you're next. All right, ready for this? I gotta get my hand grip right, ready? No way! No way! Yeah, no, he's got, he's got, he's got a track playing in the background. <laughs> oh, Mark is trying to head shake. Come on. Who's turn is Sharon? Oh, my God. If you get the head shake and you destroy furniture, you're fine. <laughs> I have to go get my chopstick. Okay. Sharon. Sharon, let's see what you got. She's like the Swedish chef. <laughs> Carla, what Carla, what do you got? <laughs> perfect, perfect. Uh, dying to see Matt's head shake, man. <laughs> CJ, you're up. All right. One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> I think I did better than this. <laughs> well, what I love, I love is everybody's got the stick clap. It's like, yeah, that's how, it's like, I, I have to start like every tune like that. It's like, okay, one, two, three, four. <laughs> There he is. There he is. I'm a, I'm a dad scrubber. I need breakfast. Where's my breakfast? <laughs>